Hello YouTube and welcome to your fifth, I think it's fifth or sixth Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial. Um, I don't know what it is, just look at the title and it'll tell you. But um, in this tutorial I'll be covering get line. Now you can see I've already made a new project and added my CPP file. I've already pound included iostream and conio.h and using type using namespace std and I've already created my main method. So now what we're going to do is to use, um, well, I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but um, usually when you use cn, you would do, you would declare your variable, so string my name, and then you do cn my name. Now, the problem with that is if the person uses, if the person types out their full name, like John Smith or something, um, that space in between John and Smith could cause problems and when it uses CN it might say John okay white space which is blank space um, it's over they're done typing and it'll only get the John part so um, what you want to do anytime you're going to have the user type in a string that um, is going to have spaces in it you're going to want to use get line now if you want them to type like something simple like yes or no um, or Y or N, then um, there's a variable type that I, uh, I mean a data type that I left out in my second tutorial. It's called char, which stands for character, and it's just basically any letter or number that's stored kind of like a string. It's inside uh, quotation marks, so um, it's just like that, but it's only one character. So we created this variable string my name. Now to use get line, you want to pound include um string so now that we pound included string we created this variable string my name and it's going to see out what is my name go ahead and in the line so whatever they type after what is my name is going to be under that on the second on the line below it so what we normally do is we do cn and then my name but we're not going to be using that because we want the user to type in their full name and since there's going to be white space in there we're going to want to use get line so to use get line you type get line cn and then the variable name that it's going to be stored in so basically what this does is whatever that person types in in that line is going to be stored in the variable not my name and then every time every time you use get line right after you use it you want to type cn dot clear which will just take everything um, inside of your CN and it'll clear it out so you got a clean slate whenever you use get line again so now what we can do is see out my name is we'll go ahead and print out my ah, my name and then in the line so now if we run it, hopefully we won't get any errors. It says, what is my name? If I type in John, press enter, uh, you can see it closes there. And the reason it did that is because we forgot to include getch. And that's what conio.h is for. So I'll just type underscore getch. And for all you users who are on um, Visual Basic 2008, it's just getch without the underscore. And in 2010, it's underscore getch. So now when we run it, what is my name? You just put Sam, and it says my name is Sam. So that's how you use get line. Um, hold on, John Smith. Okay, so there's something with white space in it. It means we John and Smith, and then when we print it out, it says my name is John Smith. Um, so that's how you use get line. Um, it's good to use it anytime there's going to be white space, or you think there's going to be white space in what the user types. So um, Practice this code, make a couple of little programs, run them, and then move on to the next tutorial. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe.